Hello, this is David and welcome to episode number four of Make Me Proud, the YouTube series documenting my campaign to become a better sprint swimmer in 2023. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my weekly training plan and explaining some of the rationale behind it. As always, if you would give this video a like, I would very much appreciate it. And remember to subscribe to this channel in order to join in with me on this swimming adventure. But otherwise, without any further ado, let's dive right into today's video. So I've brought up my weekly training plan here on screen so that you have a visual representation of it as we work our way through the weekly training plan. And as you can see, uh, start off with just the number of training sessions because that is what I think is the very first thing uh, that you need to consider when putting in the training plan. Now that is uh, based on what you want to achieve. Um, and so in here, I have put down, uh, I've got six swimming sessions and four gym sessions for a total of 10 sessions altogether. So that is uh, what I believe will uh, uh, enable me to achieve my goals over the course of this year and get that uh, 100 meters freestyle time under that 60 second mark. Um, I could be wrong, I may need more, or perhaps um, I, yeah, perhaps I've got too many in there. However, uh, based on my experience over the past couple of years, uh, this is the number of sessions that I believe um, will get me to that um, with as least effort as possible. Naturally, uh, there are quite a lot of swimmers that swim a lot, lot more than this. Um, or say for example, they double up on sessions. So these sessions here are all an hour in duration, whereas uh, quite a lot of swimmers will do uh, at least two hour sessions um, over the course of the week. However, I th I'm thinking six swim, six hours in the pool and four hours in the gym uh, should be sufficient in order to, uh, yeah, just, just facilitate the progress that I want to see uh, in my sprint swimming. So, uh, why six swimming and four gymming? Well, uh, the reason I've gone for six swimming is because that essentially equates to one session a day with uh, one day off rest. Now, the reason as to why um, on, on this weekly training plan it, it doesn't end up being one session a day is because at the pool that I train at, um, sessions can be uh, a little bit unreliable. They're not necessarily put on uh, every Saturday and Sunday because the pool gets booked out for uh, hire with um, various competitions or um, other other reasons for why people want to hire a pool over the weekend. And so uh, because I like a nice uh, routine, I like a nice structured routine with my weekly training plan, um, that is the reason as to why I don't have any swim sessions on the uh, on Saturday or Sunday. Sunday is the day that I take off as rest. Um, I think it's very important that you take at least one day off as rest over the course of the week, just allow your body to recover and uh, regenerate itself, rebuilding new muscle um, and also refreshing yourself for the next week. So definitely would always put in uh, at least one day of rest into a training plan. So how my swimming is then structured, uh, I'm in the pool first session on a Monday morning. Now that's because I haven't done any swimming um, over the course of the weekend, or at least not since uh, Friday evening, so to say. Uh, so the reason I've gone for that Monday morning and then Friday evening um, is in order to reduce the amount of time that I spend out of the pool uh, over the weekend. If I, I swam on Friday morning um, instead of Friday evening, then um, then obviously that would add another uh, 12 or eight, eight, eight or 12 hours onto uh, the time that I spent out of the pool in between those two sessions, which is another eight to 12 hours of deconditioning. Um, hence, uh, I try to keep it as compact uh, as uh, the the time that I'm resting slash outside the pool as um, compact as possible. Um, then 
in a simile in that uh, with with that also in mind that's why uh, I swim on Thursday evening uh, making this having two sessions there one in the morning one in the evening just to facilitate that switch from uh, morning training into evening training however the reason as to why I don't do that on a Wednesday so why I don't have uh, two swims on a Wednesday and then start swimming on the evenings on a, a Thursday um, is so that um, I have that rest after five sessions so that's three swim two gym sessions um, and that that break on a Wednesday evening just enables me to um, yeah recuperate uh, for the next set of five that are coming up um, and then uh, Tuesday and Wednesday swim sessions just are uh, uh, scheduled for the morning just to um, yeah just to just to facilitate that feeling of routine um, especially after Monday morning so um, that is the reason uh, that is the rationale behind how my swim training is structured. Then uh, moving on to the gym sessions. So as I said, I take Sunday off um, in order just to allow myself to rest and recover. Um, and because I don't have anything on a Friday morning, then I might stick a gym session in there. And then similarly um, on a Saturday morning, as well that means I get my workout done uh, early on um, in the weekend which then once that is completed then I have the rest of the weekend to do as I so please I don't have to think about uh, getting to another training session over the course of the weekend um, and also similarly because you know Saturday is Saturday um, you want to be using it for um, leisure activities, seeing friends and all that sort of thing. You don't want to um, spend your whole weekend either in the gym or in the pool or unless you've got a competition, obviously, um, and that <laughs> and that is a big part of your life. So if you, you know, if you've got friends that aren't swimmers that you enjoy um, or, or sports people for that matter that, you know, you want to see over the course of the weekend, then that enables me to do so. And similarly, um, it enables me to have a bit of fun on Saturday night. I don't have to be so regimented with my sleep because I know that on Sunday morning, um, I've got that nice lion to wake up to. Then on uh, the reason why the uh, gym training slots in on a Monday and Tuesday evening um, is because essentially it is just, uh, it, it, it gets the breaks in between my training sessions even um, throughout the week. So, uh, for example, I do, uh, I've got two um, gym sessions that I cycle my way through uh, overall, um, over the two, course of the two sessions. And it works my full body um, where I, I have uh, made it such that, you know, because I do one on one day, um, it doesn't tire me out for the next one on the next day. Um, so I like to cycle through it and doing that first session on a Monday evening, um, if you go halfway through the week, so three and a half days, that then takes you to Friday morning for that second gym session. And then similarly with uh, Tuesday evening as well, uh, three and a half days um, takes you to uh, Saturday morning. And then again, it's another three and a half days until that next session. Um, yeah, just keeping those gym sessions spread out evenly over the course of the week um, so that um, I am deconditioning the same amount in between sessions, if that makes sense. Um, so uh, it just means that I get con some consistency as to when I'm doing my gym sessions. So say for, it, uh, say for example that I did my uh, first gym session again on that Wednesday, evening along with the Monday morning, but I didn't do one on Friday morning. Uh, that would mean I would have a gap of two days and then a gap of five days. Uh, now the two days isn't so problematic. Um, it's probably the maximum frequency that you would want to uh, train a, a muscle group um, any more, uh, doing it any uh, more frequently than every two days. You're going to start to tie yourself out and um, yeah, experience fatigue and make things uh, uh, hard for, well, you're probably not going to see uh, progress because you're going to burn yourself out. However, that five is uh, is problematic because 
um, the maximum as to which uh, you want to repeat uh, working out a, uh, a muscle group is, is four days. So you want to keep that gap in between training sessions uh, to uh, two to four days. So four days is if you're doing, uh, if you're doing training sessions twice a week, um, or for me, I like to keep it to three and a half because a seven day week, that means you cut that seven days in half and therefore it's 3.5 days in between each session. Um, whereas if you're doing things more frequently than that, so say if you're working out three times a week, then you would probably uh, do it, you'll probably do those sessions once every uh, once every two days with uh, one rest day. So say, uh, just to uh, say for the sake of example here, Monday evening, Wednesday evening, Friday evening, uh, those are your three uh, sessions separated by two days each, and then you take Saturday and Sunday off from um, working those set muscle groups. So I'm relatively happy with my plan here because it gets in my six swim sessions and four gym sessions. It also gives me um, uh, that uh, a nice free weekend once I've completed that first gym session, which means I can socialize and don't have to worry about um, uh, working out over the course of the weekend once that first session is done and can just enjoy leisure activities um, without having yeah without without needing to worry about whether I'm getting that additional session section uh, session in um, naturally a uh, little bit gutted that I can't do um, any swimming on the weekend or at least any swimming uh, the week in week out with with any regular uh, routine in that regard just based on um, because the pool obviously needs to make money and the best way it does that is through uh, hiring out for competitions on on weekends so uh, fully understand why it's done um, just a bit annoying in in that sense uh, if I didn't have any time constraints or any uh, commitments or friends that I wanted to see, then uh, I think the only way that I'd actually change this plan would be to swap the Thursday morning session uh, for a Saturday evening session. That way I'd be able to get an extra uh, line on the Thursday, I'd be able to sleep in a little bit longer and give myself, my body, that extra bit of rest. It would keep things um, a consistent tempo throughout the week so you you do swim gym swim gym swim then uh, a full day's worth of rest before you go back into your swim gym swim gym swim uh, and then full day of rest once more however other than that i don't think i can complain i've still got that wednesday evening rest giving myself the opportunity to uh, recuperate uh, for the second set of five um, just got a little bit more um, rest when it comes to the weekend so that's all good and I've still got one nice line there where I've got the opportunity to completely refresh myself um, over the course of the week. So that is my weekly training plan, I hope you've enjoyed going it through with me and understand a little bit more um, as to uh, why I've structured it in the way that you have and hopefully you can take something from that and implement into your own training plan. So that is it for this video. And if you've enjoyed it, just a reminder to hit the like button and similarly to subscribe to my channel for many more swimming adventures. Otherwise, if you are looking for a little bit of extra help when it comes to improving your eating habits, head on over to westcoff.com to see the range of ways in which I can support you with your nutrition and thereby fuel your physical development. Finally, I've been Dave Westcoff. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you again next time.